Hello everybody, my name is Boom Reaper and today I will be showing you the best and the worst parts of the new Realm of Magic build and buy mode. So I was originally just going to do a speed build, this build here. I recorded some of it, but I'm not super duper happy with it. I didn't think there was that much to talk about. It was for this family, which you might have seen on my channel. You can see me making them in my Realm of Magic create a sim video, but I've decided that instead of showing you the entire speed build, I was just going to go through some of the things I noticed while I was building. Some of them are very positive and some of them are a little bit more negative, but that is all fine. So I thought I would start with build stuff. Um, so first of all, I have to say I'm very impressed with a lot of the items, particularly this fireplace this new chandelier, uh, although it is very big, I'll say that. <laughs> this new chandelier I really like though, the bookcase, and we finally have some more new counters. Well, not finally, I guess we've recently got some. It's just that whenever there's new counters, it's exciting. And these counters come in 10 swatches, which is a lot considering the previous um, record of like some other swatches, like the vampire's counters only come in three swatches each. Unfortunately, as part of the negative, I guess I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, but part of the negative is there are no matching counters. Also, the cauldrons. I'm so glad that there are two versions. There's a plain one and there's a fancy one. So, uh, right off the bat, I'm very impressed by the buy mode stuff. I thought I was going to be disappointed or that there wouldn't be that much, but there is a ton. There are two new beds, um, a lot of new seats, a lot of new tables, and new bathroom furniture, even this new cute bassinet. I love this. I think this is super sweet. I, It's just so beautiful with the drape over it, and it comes in a few different swatches. This one is really nice. Like This is very fairy tale, very fantastical. And I think that I'll actually use this one um, a lot, um, despite what I was thinking at first when I saw it. I was like, when am I ever going to use that? But then I took a closer look and I think I'm going to use it all the time. <laughs> so the pros are for the build mode are look how well this stuff is made. It's all like very detailed. It's within a very specific style. It all matches. Almost everything has matching swatches. I know Plumbella pointed out that some of the items don't match but it's only like a couple of them and that is definitely a better record than we've had for some of the other packs i will say this chandelier is a little bit um like although i love it if you get really close up to it you can see that it's really angular it's not as smooth as it should be but that is a very minor complaint you're not going to be staring at the chandelier while you're playing your game i'm sure so that stuff Plus this bed specifically, this is probably my favorite stuff in the pack, and this bed has like a stained glass roof on it. I think that's super super pretty, it's super extra, <laughs> mind you, it's not going to match a lot of other packs, but it is something we've never had, so it's adding more variety to the game, and I think it goes super well with everything else, and is really gorgeous, and if you don't like this bed, there is another new bed, which is a little more plain. It still goes with everything else, but if you don't like the aesthetic of the pack, I would tell you don't buy it. Because the pros are all considering that it's this aesthetic, it all matches, it all looks good for what it is. If you don't like what it is, it doesn't matter whether it's well made or not, you're just not going to like the pack. So that's the nitty gritty of it. But that is all the pros for the buy items so like i said there are some cons for the buy items i don't find them to be that big to be honest there are a lot of new decoration items that i really appreciate like this display thing i guess i don't have a table to put it on but i'm assuming this is for displaying wands i haven't tried the gameplay for this pack yet so keep in mind that i don't know what a lot of this stuff is actually supposed to be used for um so, I'm just going to kind of get rid of all this stuff here. And then, okay, the cons for the 
buy items. Okay, so some of the cons are it is all super expensive stuff. I was trying to build a starter home in Glimmerbrook for my world overhaul save file. If you don't know what that is, I'll try to put up a little card so you can click on that. But I find this stuff is super expensive. I was trying to make a starter home and just use a lot of these items, but I couldn't use like this bed I wanted to use, but I had to use a cheaper one. This bed I wanted to use and I had to delete a whole bunch of other stuff in order to use that. These chairs are like a hundred simoleons each. That's some of the most expensive chairs in the game. <laughs> like it is not cheap stuff. So the chances of you being able to right off the bat make a starter home with all this stuff in it are very low. Now, if you don't care about that, then that's fine. It's really nicely made and like obviously like i said i don't have that many issues with the build stuff in general um this awning i kind of do have an issue with i haven't really tried to place it but i just think it will be hard to use anywhere that doesn't obstruct a window like i'm assuming it's meant to be used on like these rounded windows a little bit um but it just doesn't look good on any of them i don't think like it kind of works over the single windows but that's like, I would rather have this on, like, a over-the-top house, and I don't think that it really works for that. So that's one criticism. Another is this. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me being a stickler about um, occult stuff in general. I kind of don't like it, to be honest. I got this pack mostly because of the stuff in it, so... But I think that this is absolutely unusable. Like, even within this pack, I'm never going to use this. I just think it's it belongs in the world where all the magic stuff, you can, like, go and buy it. But I don't think I would ever want to use it for myself. And I found this originally in the debug catalog. So there I was like, hey, that makes sense because obviously that's going to be something that's in the other world. But I don't understand why they've made it available as like a really expensive rug you would want to use in your normal home so that's that's a very small personal criticism but i think it kind of kind of ca causes you to ponder like even if you're making a spellcaster home are you going to use this and like there are definitely ways i can think of using this but personally i think that it's just too niche but anyhow um another con is these lights um <laughs> i like them i the design is fine but it's again like usability i don't think these fit inside of a house unless it's supposed to be like a fairy thing but we didn't get fairies in this pack so i don't see where you're supposed to use this like i've used them outdoors i've used them up on these little towers as like these kind of looming lights because this is supposed to be like a Halloween house or whatever. Um, so I've used them like that, but I don't really know how you're supposed to use it inside a house. I was trying to use them in the living room of the starter home I was making. And I think they're kind of just don't make sense in a home. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's all the nitpicky stuff I have for this pack. Oh, one more thing is we don't need another bar. Why did they give us this? Like there are so many other bars. Like I'm almost certain there are other bars that would look fine if you mix it with this pack. I don't understand why they gave us that. But that is very, um, <laughs> just uh, again, nitpicky. So I think I'm gonna move on to the build uh, mode items. This is just meant to be a really brief what I think are the best and worst parts of this pack, so I'm not going to dwell too much on each individual thing. But, okay, so doors are a major plus, except this one. <laughs> so I'll show you what this one looks like. Um, it's going to overlap the window, I'm sorry, but it looks like this. So it has this huge looming awning on it, and like, I, even in the other colors, it's just like, it stands out so much. I don't... Like this one, I guess you could kind of like blend it in, the stone or something, but I think it's just like way too theatrical. Like that might just be a personal opinion, but I just think it's way too bulky to use. I'll just leave that actually. But then these doors, these ones are really nice. Again, the framing is a little bit distracting, but it matches these windows really well. 
and it has some more plain swatches that yeah you could definitely get away with using this even just on like some sort of mansion it wouldn't necessarily have to be like magical that's the same with this door which is just like a two tile wide version and this archway is magnificent <laughs> i love it it's a different shape than we've ever had it's different style than we've ever had i think it looks way more regal so if you were to use this for like a classical mansion even a victorian mansion this would fit perfectly because they had these kinds of uh, embellishments and decorations on their doors um, in the Victorian times even. So it's not something that's completely fantasy-like unlike this door here. So the doors, they did super well on this pack. Now I'm going to move on to windows. So you can see I've used basically every... Or actually I skipped a couple doors. I'm sorry, I'm going to go back. Okay, so there's also these doors. This one which I don't like the swatches for because I don't think they match anything really. Like, they kind of match the windows as far as like the door frame, but the actual color of the door itself, like it doesn't seem to cohere with anything else. So I don't like this door for the swatches, but the design is good. And then this door is just a smaller version of the other door that I said I liked. So I'll just skip over that one kind of. But, okay, now the windows. So I've used basically all of them that I could fit <laughs> on this house. Except I don't think I used this one. But it's basically the same as this curved one, but it's just not curved. So we have this one. These come in so many swatches. They come in similar swatches to the doors. But they also have plain, like completely open. And they have stained glass. So you have a bunch of different options for what stained glass you might want. There's some that have like designs in them, but not stained glass. And then there are some like this one and this one, which are completely open. So I think these are usable across pack. They're wonderful, 100% good. I like the colors. I like the options, everything. And that goes for this as well. This has the same swatches uh, as well as this has the same swatches. And then we get to the large round windows for the low wall height anyway. And now, <laughs> I know a lot of people probably looked at this, these windows and were like, oh my gosh, amazing, never been done before. And that's true, we really haven't had round windows like this that were this style. Um, but <laughs> uh, placing these things is really hard. And a lot of people are criticizing this pack for the other houses looking really ugly. Like, let me see if I can look across the neighborhood and see if we can spot one. Like this one here. Can you see the way that they use this round window? It just kind of looks like it's stuck on. And I think that part of the reason the houses in this pack are so poorly made is because these windows are so hard to use. I am not a fan of the round ones. I know that's probably an unpopular opinion. They're really pretty, they're really nice, but just the way that they're made is so hard to use. If they didn't have like here, I'll show you. If they didn't have this little bit on the bottom that's kind of like prompting you to stick it right to the bottom of the ground, which doesn't look good on most houses. This is a low wall height even. Or no, it's medium. But still, it doesn't look good on most houses. And I don't want to have to stick it to the ground every time. But when it's floating, kind of like this one, it doesn't always work. And it doesn't look good unless it's on like a separated section of the house, I find. And it's the same for this window. This window is a little bit more usable. It's still like um, difficult to place though, I find. It doesn't go places super well, but I think this one gets a pass because it's a, at least it's a shape that stands on its own it's not prompting you to place it anywhere specific on the wall you can move it up and down as much as you want whereas this one i don't think i could just place it here and be like yeah that looks like it fits there like what's the deal with this whole section then it's not attached to anything and it looks like it should be so that is my criticism for these windows is yes they're pretty yes they match all the swatches and they're well made but the design isn't good, and that's because it doesn't look like you can just place this somewhere and leave it. It looks like they're meant to always be attached to the ground level, or you have to come up with some way to make it look like it fits. 
So I think these windows would have been improved by just being only a circle and not having this bottom part. But that is my opinion. It might be an unpopular opinion, but it's something to consider is don't buy the pack because you see the round windows and you're like, oh my gosh, I'll use them all the time because I am almost certain you won't be able to use them all the time. <laughs> like they're, it's hard to make them look like they fit into a build. So that is basically my thoughts. Um, there are fences uh, and columns, I believe. Yeah, there's this column. It's a column. It looks good. I'm not going to comment on it. Uh, I think that's a fairly plain thing. And then there's this little on or not awning, uh, a freeze. Is that what it's called? <laughs> anyway, um, this little embellishment thing. Also, it's very well made. It matches everything else. Has like all these different kind of metal swatches that matches the fence. There's two different fences that come with this. And then there's like a fancy one and a less fancy one. You can see right here. That's a fancy one, and then the less fancy one is similar, it just doesn't have an emblem in the middle. But yeah, that's basically it for this pack. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed that there were no trees or plants. There are no chimneys, which I thought there have to be two chimneys because it's like a witchy kind of pack and chimneys go on witch houses. But there weren't anything like that. And I think there are wall sculptures, yeah, but they're very limited. I wish there would be like a cheaper one that would look good. Like, so basically, <laughs> um, uh, I was gonna wrap it up here, but the build mode, I would say 100% definitely get it if you like that aesthetic. There's very few things wrong with it. I just had like personal issues. Uh, the, or did I say buy mode? Get buy mode. That's what I meant. If I said that wrong, I don't remember <laughs> but for build mode there are issues that i think are a little bit more obvious a little bit less opinionated like it's more uh gonna affect every player i think so basically the takeaway is it's a great pack it has everything matches the aesthetic all matches and it's really good for what it wants to do but there are some things which, if you were thinking that it's going to be super easy to use, you might want to reconsider um, getting it for that reason, like the windows, like I was saying. And also, um, what was that? Oh yeah, also, if you are making a house and hoping it's going to be a starter home with these pieces, I would say, uh, <laughs> don't. I would say, um... Either you're going to have to cheat to be able to afford a house that looks like this with all these windows and bits from the pack, or you're going to have to make it like a goal for your second home because uh, the items are really expensive individually. So that kind of um, is another criticism. Why aren't there more items that are affordable at the beginning of the game? But other than that... Um, it's a great pack so far. I'm really enjoying it and I hope that you enjoyed this review and I hope it helped you decide whether you might want to get this pack for the build buy or whether you might want to wait for it to be on sale or whether you just don't want it at all now. I hope I didn't completely turn you off of it. But that was my honest opinion on the pros and the cons of build and buy in this pack. So if you like this video, please give me a like and please subscribe to this channel for more content but um one more thing before you go <laughs> do you want to see the rest of this build because i've already recorded some of it i i'm not super in love with it but i looking at it again i think i could improve it i think i know what i would do to fix it it's just that i want to know whether or not anyone is interested in watching it and if not i'll do a different build which is skyrim so Tell me if you'd rather want to see this one get finished, whether you like this one, or you want to see me try to build a Skyrim house in The Sims. So, with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!